Hi there, Nate Urandi, Orion Training Systems. Uh, this one's a little bit of a sanity check for you. You know, marketing is a very powerful thing, and Zip just came out with some pretty awesome looking wheels, I must admit. Uh, I guess they're inspired by humpback whales. Uh, here's the thing. No set of wheels is worth 4,000 bucks. And in fact, there's only two situations that would prompt you to buy a new set of deep rim wheels. One, you don't have any because deep rim wheels are absolutely faster than box rims or your standard, you know, shallow aluminum rim wheels. Or two, your current pair of deep rim wheels, you've run them into the ground and, you know, they clearly need replacing. But even then, save your cash. You can get a very fast pair of high quality Chinese deep rim wheels for about 500 bucks. Now I'm not saying you should go that route, but what I am saying is 500 bucks versus 4,000 for a neg negligible difference in quality and speed, I'd say that 3,500 bucks myself. So what are the time savings <clears throat> and what can you expect? So I did some research on this and I'm going to boil it down. I mean, you could f go to the nth degree of minutia and detail, but here's what it boils down to. In a 40K time trial in a triathlon or, uh, you know, a standard uh, bike race time trial, from a box rim, you know, standard training wheel, to a 60 millimeter deep rim wheel, going, you know, 18 to 25 miles an hour, you're going to save somewhere from 90 seconds to about 2 minutes 15 seconds over that 40K. The slower you go, the more time you'll save. So, you know, if you're closer to a 30 mile an hour time trialer, it's going to be closer to like a minute 15 in time savings. Now, at the Ironman distance, obviously you're covering a lot more ground and you're going to go slower, so the time difference will be obviously larger. So anywhere from 15 to 22 miles an hour, you're looking at about an 8 to 12 minute time game. That starts to get substantial. And that, you know, makes sense in terms of an investment of some sort in racing wheels. But should it be 60 millimeter or 90 millimeter? So another comparison is what's the time savings, additional time savings, I should say, for a 90 millimeter versus a 60 millimeter. And for that 18 to 25 mile an hour range at the 40K time trial, you're looking at another roughly 15 to 20 seconds of time savings for choosing 90 millimeter rims over 60 millimeter rims. And at the Ironman in that 15 to 22 mile an hour range, you're looking at roughly an additional 90 seconds to two and a half minutes going to the 90s over the 60s. So obviously there's an additional cost uh, for the 90s over the 60s. There is, um, uh, in windy conditions, it's going to be harder to handle your bike. That doesn't mean you shouldn't go with the deeper rims, but just be cognizant of that. So let's take a step back and think about this. In your Olympic distance triathlons or in your 40K time trials if you're a cyclist, or in your Ironman, or even your half Ironman races, how much better would you place if you biked an additional two to five minutes, heck, even 10 to 15 minutes faster? Answer that question, and then you'll be able to, to decide, should you invest in another set of wheels? You know, now, some races, there's a disc wheel, and that that will, you know, make you even faster. But the point I'm trying to get at here is don't buy into the hype, don't buy into the marketing, and sure as shit, don't spend $4,000 on a set of wheels because from one set of wheels to another, one set of 60 millimeter rim wheels to another, we're talking about fractions of seconds to maybe a handful of seconds difference over the course of 40K or even an Ironman. Why in, it would be insane to spend $4,000 thinking that you're going to get more than just a few seconds difference in time compared to what your current setup is, given the rim depth being the same. Again, 
save your money, and instead surprise your family with some sort of awesome trip that you otherwise wouldn't be able to take because you sunk that cash into some carbon. I'll leave you with that. As always, leave your comments below, and happy training.